welcome back to my channel. Today I am wearing one of my absolute favorite bobs, Kai by Renee of Paris, and the color is ginger brown. So while we're talking about that color, let's just look right at it. So it's ginger brown. It is a reddish brown. So as you can see, I would estimate it's probably about a six as far as the color number. They don't number their colors, they name them, so I haven't ever seen number codes for theirs. And then it has an auburn mixed into it, but it is pretty much a straight blend. You don't see separate highlights or anything like that. Now when it's out in the sun, I've seen myself in pictures that have been taken of me outside, and I can see that that auburn in it. So I just really like, I love a nice, red brunette blend so as you know if you've watched my videos it's like the same color over and over <laughs> but i just want to share with you what i have in my collection and what i wear a lot and get a lot of use out of so kai by renee of paris this like i said is one of my favorite bobs it's very low density as you can see it has a lace front and a mono part and i happen to have two of them <laughs> because I'm never without one of these, I have discovered. So this is my newer one, and they're all fresh and gorgeous. And this is one that I got back in the fall. And I still wear this one. The ends are starting to, you know, show a little wear. I have to steam her a little bit and, and do a little upkeep on her. But I have this one waiting in the wings for when this one is no longer wearable. So I'll show you the inside of the cap. So here's that mono part, left side and that lace front. Now, one thing about the Renee of Paris lace that I noticed, I mean, uh, yeah, lace when it comes, the monofilament, is that it's kind of shiny. I don't know why that is. It's just the material that they use. Um, and I find that it can be a little bit itchier than other lace fronts, but it's not terrible. Um, what I did with that to get that shine out is I spray it with a little bit of dry shampoo on the inside of the cap too. And the hair itself is not terribly shiny. Um, I always take a little dry shampoo pretty much to any new wig. And uh, probably the only ones I don't always have to do that with is Aesthetica. So um, I don't know, I just find their fibers aren't as shiny. But anyway, don't let that be a deterrent because it's really no big deal. I just spray it down a little bit and the shininess kind of goes away. So I'll show you the lace front. Lace front's really good. The knots are super tiny, which I really like because this is a dark shade. This is a brunette. Oh, I'm pulling it up, sorry. Um, it doesn't pull up on me. I just did that on, perp on accident, but... Um, so knots are really fine. There is a little permatease up here. I mean, I can see it on the wefting, but it doesn't feel like it has permatease. And there's never, I, with the other one that I've had for several months, there's not any permatease that comes sticking through there or anything like that. So I really like that. So really cute little bob. Measurements on her are 11 inch on this fringe in the front here. 12 inch from the crown down and then her nape is 2.25 inches so she has a short nape and i'll show that to you as i turn so let me go ahead and do a turn so you can see her from all angles so here's my right side really really cute the back my left side and then back to the front so she is just, oh, I just love this wig. She's super lightweight. I think she's like 3.35 ounces or something like that. And um, ear tabs are good. As you can see, you know how I am with my ear tabs. They have to be flush up against my head. They have to be, uh, you know, hug those ears, but not lay on the ears, of course, because that would be uncomfortable. But fits really good. The cap is good. I mean, Maybe it's slightly roomy, but it's not bad. I have a 21 inch circumference. I cinch it up just slightly, just because I have to do that pretty much with any wig. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you how I style her. So one thing, um, she's a very versatile wig. So one thing that I like to do with her is you can pull her, there's enough length with that to pull her all the way back and put her in a cute clip like that. Looks really cute. And then a lot of times, especially, I have found that I have to train her the front when I first get it. So I may have to steam it a little bit and get it to not go on my face all the time. And it, it tends to come 
like this a little bit. So, but she trains out of the face and you can get her out of your face. So don't let that be a deterrent. So, and a lot of times I just put a little clip in when I'm training her particularly. Whoop, I didn't get all the hair. And just put her, you know, clip her back out of my face, especially if I'm gonna be doing something, you know, where I'm gonna be looking down. Um, and I just don't want the hair to flop in my face. But honestly, it's not a big issue. So like I said, don't let that be a deterrent. You know, and you can use all your cute little clippies with her. Um, I did wanna show you one thing. She's, I wear reading glasses. She's really good with my glasses. Now when I put glasses on a wig, I put them on top of my ear tab. Because I have found that if they are under my ear tab, they're very uncomfortable. I remember one time I sat through a whole meeting and I thought, oh, that's too shiny. Um, I thought, these glasses are gonna squeeze my brain out. So that was when I first started wearing wigs. So just a tip, put them, kind of you know, maneuver them and let them lay on top of your ear tabs. That's just how I like to do them. It's real cute and stick your glasses up on top. I have even taken my sunglasses with her. This was, I was, this was habitual with me until my alopecia got too bad when I had hair. You can pull her back with your glasses which I really love because that just looks really, really natural. So lots of things that you can do with this cute little Kai. I know she's super popular. I know there's lots of reviews, but I just thought I would show her to you on my head with my face. So if you like what you see and you want me to keep bringing more content, please like and subscribe below. And don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Have a great day. Bye.